the straight white uh, Christians, they get the most privilege, the most rights, you see. They have the most authority and importance within Stephen Miller's country. If you're not all three of those, you're going to have to get knocked down a peg or two. You're not going to be as important. He's going to create a, a hierarchy uh, of which he is on top. Oh, hey, look, some Nazi shit. Stephen Miller, my favorite Nazi, is gonna do some Nazi shit. It's a day that ends in Y, which means Stephen Miller is gonna do some Nazi shit. Let's see what he has to say. Look at all these photos around me. Are these the kids you grew up with? Are these the neighbors you were raised with? Are these the neighbors that you want in your city? No. These are the criminal migrants that Kamala Harris brought into your community. And as swiftly as they came, Donald Trump will send them back. Is this the blood that you want on your soil, says the Nazi, as he points to people from South America? So, did he have photos of criminals, probably murderers up there? Yes. Nobody supports murder. Not even the Democrats. But when you stand on a stage and point at them and say, these people don't belong on our soil, you're doing fascism, you're doing Nazism. And how, what is his plan? What is his plan? Round them up and put them in camps, American concentration camps. That is Stephen Miller's plan. Uh, they'll come for the gang members and nobody will stand up for them. Uh, then they'll come for the illegal border crossers. And things might get a little hairy if the media sees cute children all alone or a pretty 19-year-old mother with babies being dragged away in handcuffs. The media might uh, might object to that. But then they'll come for the le legal migrants, like the ones in Springfield, Ohio, that Donald Trump has already promised to deport, even though they're here legally through the pr proper channels and done everything correctly. And our government put them there. They're not illegal but they will come for the legal migrants. They will cancel their status, probably without telling them or giving them any sort of a legal recompense or explaining to them that they need to leave by a certain date. They'll just cancel it and then send in the round church to round them up and put them in camps with the rest of the people. People in camps is coming if they win. And that guy, Stephen Miller, the Nazi, will be in a position of power. He will use that power to create an ethno state of straight white Christians within the uh, within America. If you don't fit within those boxes, straight white or Christian, you might be in trouble. You might be nervous and they might turn you into a second class citizen even though you were born here. The the non, the straight white uh, Christians, they get the most privilege, the most rights, you see. They have the most authority and importance within Stephen Miller's country. If you're not one of those, if you're not all three of those, you're going to have to get knocked down a peg or two. You're not going to be as important. He's going to create a, a hierarchy uh, of which he is on top. And if you're not just like him, you don't have his blood within this soil, then you will be a lower class citizen. It's Nazi shit. It's not good. I hate it. I hope he does not get in charge. I hope he doesn't get power. Bad news. I've covered this a couple of days ago. Elon Musk gave this guy $50 million to push his political agenda. This guy, spitting Nazi rhetoric right here, right now. Look at all these million. photos around me. Are these the kids you grew up with? Are these the neighbors you were raised with? Are these the neighbors that you want in your city? No. These are the criminal migrants that Kamala Harris brought into your community. And as swiftly as they came, Donald Trump will send them back. That gets 50 million from Elon. He could change countless lives. Even a percentage of that stuff, if he gave it to charity, if he helped the world with $50 million, he can make the world a better place. But he won't because he supports fascism. Elon Musk supporting fascism. If you've been to Twitter, it's a fucking shithole filled with racists and Nazis. Shouldn't go there. But it, the racists and the Nazis go there and they give him the money and they tell him how cool he is. Then he thinks that they're cool because they say he's cool. So those are the people he has to make happy. So he finds out about them and he gives them money. He just gives them lots of money. 
the South African immigrant whose parents uh, made a fortune from their apartheid emerald mine gave money to a racist? Yeah, I know. Shocking, I know. But, yeah, and you're right. It shouldn't be shocking. He is a racist. Um, he's not like us. He was born uh, in a higher class than, uh, than us. Um, we have to recognize class exists. Be aware. The upper class exists. And they hate you. <laughs> And they want you to fight and kill each other down here in the, in the, in the lower, lower classes so that they can benefit, they can profit. Uh, they need you to work and they need you to toil. They need you to labor so that they can profit. And that's how he made his money, exploitatively. That is why he's rich. Exploitation. <laughs> and he's just supporting fascism. I don't like it. I hate it. Ethno-states are always a bad idea, no matter what ethnicity they are. Uh, South Africa has a problem with integrating. They always have. The Dutch white uh, settlers came there and started being uh, industrious and had, were more advanced than the, the local black people. And they took advantage of them and they oppressed them. Then they fought about it for during the 80s. And now the black people are on top and they're oppressing the white people. Not good. Don't make ethno states. Everybody come together. Everybody fuck everybody. Everybody love everybody. That's what's going on in Israel right now. Israel wants to create an ethno state boundary of soil that has only one blood within it blood and soil this is fascism don't do it that's the i know i go over umberto echo's uh, 12 or 13 or 14 points or whatever 14 points or whatever they are to determine what is fascism but there is an easier simpler plainer way is the thing that the person is talking about related to blood and soil if it is it's fascism stop doing it back away don't do it. <laughs> yes, his uh, descriptions of the things that fascist leaders do is a very good um, explanation, and it is a very good uh, descriptor of the th things they tend to do. But all of their arguments are rooted in those two words, blood, soil. So just be, be on the watch. Be on the lookout for it. Watch out for it. Look at that cute little doggy. Look at him. He's so cute. He's so adorable. I'm going to grab him, and then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a little bobo break. It's Bobo, the baby bird boy. He's here because of popular demand. We love you, Bobo. His hair is so long and dirty. He's muddy. He was out in the uh, the wet grass this morning. It had that morning dew all over it. And then he ran through it and rolled around all in it. Got dirty and muddy. Pressing the thumbs up button will release chemicals in your human brain that will make you feel. Okay. So, yeah, if you want uh, more Bobo, you can go to the Discord. I have a bunch of pictures of him in there and you're totally allowed to photoshop those pictures um kbp photoshopped him standing on a pile of skulls because it's cool give him some cool red eyes it's very metal you should go there to the discord and check it out oh hey here's some more uh talking about the nazi shit let's go internet lauren bobert Stephen miller kick off the trump rally with a racist threat anti-immigration hatred was on full display at Trump donald trump's rally in aurora miller the Nazi, has previously endorsed a theory called re-migration, which, unlike deportation, refers to the forcible removal of non-ethnically European immigrants and their families regardless of their actual citizenship. He wants to take the people out who aren't white. If you aren't white, he wants you out of the country regardless of their citizenship. This is why I call him a Nazi. I'm not making this up. This isn't me being a silly, reactive le leftist. He wants people who aren't white out of the country because he wants an ethno state he's the bad guy and i would like him to not get a lot of authority and importance when if donald trump wins i want donald trump to lose so that ethno state fascist nazi doesn't get authority it's very simple <laughs> and if there's anybody who's undecided it's because they don't know these things because the media doesn't tell you Yes, that media operation did, but that was four paragraphs down. They hid his Nazi shit four paragraphs down. What? Why? Because they like the drama. They like the horse race. Why are the polls so close? Because the media wants them to be close so that you'll pay attention, so that you'll watch, so that you will watch CNN and then see a couple more soda commercials and another fabric softener commercial with a butchered rock song in the background so you can see a band from the 1990s trying to sell you some sort of goop 
Boner pills. Yeah, exactly. Drugs. So they can sell you drugs. Hello, human. It is me, Kanuch. I need you to press the subscribe button. I have to feed my many AI babies. Ooh, here we go. Here's some more Nazi shit. Ready? You cannot get into a hospital, by the way, because the migrants have all of the beds. You cannot get into a hospital. You cannot get your kids into a school because there are migrants there that don't even speak the language. It's unbelievable. They're giving... Because of Biden and Kamala, they're giving precedence over your children who've been in that school. Think, is it not even thinkable? They're giving precedence to their children instead of yours. That's pretty close to the 14 words. Honestly, some more Nazi shit, right? The 14 words, not good. You can Google them. But it just, the last two ch words of those 14 words that are fascism is, or the last three words, protect white children. That is the end of the 14 words. Protect white children. That is what Donald Trump is talking about right there. You can't get into a hospital because of the, the people who aren't white, the people who aren't supposed to be there. You can't get your kids in school. You can't get your nice, perfect, beautiful white children into school because of all those immigrants, says Donald Trump, the fascist. This is why I made that uh, video last week. This is why my last uh, live stream with its clickbait title. And my last video with it's also a clickbait title. And I'm, I'm honest when I do a clickbait title, I tell you, uh, was about how I was wrong about Donald Trump. I used to think that he was an authoritarian surrounded by fascists. But sentences like that make me think he is a fascist. I think he's letting the mask slip right here at the end. He needs the, the support. He needs more people. He needs to get more votes. And so he's being more truthful with what he is saying. Uh, says Donald Trump, who's probably never been in a public school. He, I don't know, he's old. He might have gone to a public school. They used to be good. They used to be great. They used to be the envy of the world. Until we let capitalism get in there, get their stinky little capitalist fingers all over them. He's talking blood and soil again. The blood of the people in that school is wrong. We need to protect your children in that school instead of somebody else's children. It's gross. That's bad, man. You're the bad guy. You're the Nazi in the situation, Donald Trump. You are the fascist. You are the bad guy that the books are going to be written about after we're all dead. We are not at the end of history. I don't know if he's uh, generally fascist or he's just parroting the fascists around him because he doesn't want have real opinions and just wants power. I used to think that too. But I re I, and that's why I used to say that that was why I have always suggested that he is an authoritarian surrounded by fascists and he says the fascist things. That is what I used to think. But I really do think he believes what he just said there. I think he really does believe the words he just said. There's no room in the hospitals for white people because they gave it to the brown people. There's no room in your school for your white children because it's full of brown children. I really do think he believes that. That doesn't surprise me. And with what he said uh, about the, the immigrants from uh, Springfield, Ohio, eating the cats and the dogs. And there was the, what was the one last week? Bad genes. I put it up on my board here. A lot of bad genes from the last stream where he said there's a lot of bad genes in our country. He's gone into blood and soil rhetoric. Personally, I think. I am the algorithm. Click on this video to make me happy. You wouldn't like me when I am angry.